This is History of the World Part Two for Hulu. Mel Brooks, you ever heard of him? There's no way that Mel Brooks is a part of this. Roll it. I loved making History of the World Part Two. It's that rare, wonderful combination of good comedy writing. Does Shakespeare like it? Yeah. Is Shakespeare in love? No, no, not yet. Keep pushing. <sighs> and great comedy performing. End this war. Yes, Mr. President. God damn it! That is gonna be the worst thing that's gonna happen in my head all year. Nick Kroll, Ike Barinholtz, and myself talked about how we saw the show. Once we got that together, we pitched that to Mel. Mel loved the idea. Adolf Hitler not giving the performance he had hoped for tonight. Mm, the master race isn't looking so masterful. You put concentration camps in people's countries, you better be flawless on the ice. Oh! Mel gave us such a great template in the first movie. It's more than just your average sketch show. We're telling these bigger, broader stories and also telling short, funny sketches. As Mel himself once said, we're taking a look at history and kicking it in the pants. Sorry, boys. One of the really fun parts of the show is calling folks that we're fans of or friends with and asking them to come and be part of it. Someone like Quinta Brunson, who I've been like a huge fan of for a long time. Jay Ellis, Zazie Beats. So call me Jesus Christ, son of God. Some call him broken corny. Johnny Knoxville texted me, was like, Mel Brooks is massively important to me. Anything you need, you let me know. Johnny plays Rasputin, which felt fitting because Rasputin was famously impossible to kill, and so is Johnny. <laughs> that did it! <laughs> Being able to work with those guys, it's bucket list stuff. I gotta do mouth to mouth. I'd rather die. <sighs> I just loved getting into the saddle again. And History of the World was a great opportunity to explore so many aspects of history that have happened since I did the first one. Enjoy, but don't. I already got paid for this.